Hello everyone. Welcome to the lecture 5 of debentures. Now today we will be solving question 7 which is based on the concept of sinking fund. Okay. So in the last lecture you already studied those 13 steps or 14 entries of sinking fund. Same is what we will be following over here. Now in this question you are asked to pass only journal entries but for understanding concept we are going to make all the ledger accounts also so that from this question itself you understand all the various concepts involved. Look at it be it in there. On 1st April 2014, STU Limited issued 12% 5000 debentures of 100 each at par. Okay, so and then this issued at par, the debentures are issued at par. And then redeemable also at par. Make it at not eat, make it at. Cancel this E. Redeemable also at par after 4 years. Now after 4 years means we have a question of 4 years. So in that sinking fund concept. First year there are two entries plus one entry of issue also. Two entries are of redemption. So three entries will come in first year. Then second and subsequent years there are four entries each. Except the last year. So here the last year would be the first, fourth year. Means in first year there would be three entries including the entry of issue. Then second and third year there will be four entries each. And in the last year which is the fourth year. There are total 7 entries to be passed. So 3 plus 4, 7 plus 4, 11 plus 7, 18. 18 entries in all are to be passed. You can say 18 to 20 entries would be there in this question. To collect the funds for redemption, the company decided to establish a cumulative sinking fund. Investments which were to be made to the nearest rupee, okay, you have to round off the investments to nearest rupee, were to earn interest at the rate of 10% per annum, means every year. Interest on investment will be calculated at the rate of 10% per annum. Now, what is the relevance of this? Understand it. Sinking fund table shows that rupees 0 0.2155 invested for 4 years at 10% per annum will accumulate rupee 1. What is the relevance of this? Understand it. You can make this working note 1 at the beginning or whether at the end anywhere. But this workings will be required. Now, actual concept I'll explain you. I told you that if 5000 into 100, 5 lakh rupees we have to repay after 4 years, then 5 lakhs divided by 4, how much amount should we keep aside every year? 1 lakh 25,000. But if you remember, I told you in the last lecture, we won't keep aside 1 lakh 25,000. We'll keep aside less than 1 lakh 25,000. Why? Because that amount would be invested. That money will grow. Every year, what amount you invest will grow. You learn interest on that in next years at the rate of 10% per annum. So we don't have to keep aside 1 lakh 25,000. We have to keep aside less than 1 lakh 25,000. What about less than 1 lakh 25,000 we have to keep aside? That factor is given to you 0.2155. So 5,000 into 100, if 5 lakhs is to be repaid, then what amount is to be kept aside? Okay, what amount is to be kept aside from profits every year. What amount is to be kept aside from profits every year is equal to we need to pay 5 lakhs as they are redeemable at par we need to pay 5 lakhs into this factor 0 0.2155. 5 lakhs into this factor 0 0.2155. So that comes to 107.750. So this much amount will be kept aside every year. Okay. So that is the relevance of this 0.2155 factor. Okay. Technically it is obtained from the annuity cable. So we need not go into detail. But they want to say that when for 4 years you are going to invest the money at 10% per annum. Then to acquire 1 rupee you require 0.2155. So to acquire 5 lakh rupees, how much do you need to keep aside? 5 lakh into 2.2155107750. So as I said, we don't have to invest or keep aside 1 lakh 25,000 because the money will grow over a period of time. So instead of 1 lakh 25,000, we have to keep aside what amount? 1 lakh 7,750 we have to keep aside from the profits every year. Now what is asked in the question on 31st March 2018, the investments were sold at a loss of 2%. Okay, at a loss of 2% they were sold. So we'll see what is the value of investments at that point of time. And they'll be sold at a loss of 2%. 
and the debentures were duly redeemed past necessary journal entries. Now you are asked to pass journal entries, but as I said, we'll be making all the ledger accounts also involved. So what all of you do is uh, make the format of journal entries. Uh, all of you make the format approximately 18 to 20 are, entries are there. So we will not be writing the narration because it's a very long question. We'll be writing it without the narration. Uh, make two pages format for journal entry. I repeat, make two pages format for journal entry. Two or two and a half pages. Debentures account, all of you make around eight to ten lines. I repeat, debentures account around eight to ten lines. Then make debenture holders account for around two to four lines. Debenture redemption fund account, one full page. Debenture redemption fund investment account, three fourth page. And interest on debenture redemption fund account, one fourth page. Okay, I repeat, make these formats. Journal entries, two pages or two and a half pages. Then debentures, eight to ten lines. Debenture holders, two to four lines. Debenture redemption fund account, one page. Debenture redemption fund investment account, three fourth page. Okay, not three to four pages, three fourth, 75 percent of your page. Interest on debenture redemption fund investment account, one fourth of your page. Pause the video and make these formats. I hope you all are done with the format. So let's start with the entry now. <clears throat> very first on 1 April 2014, the debentures are issued. So on 1 4 14, we'll pass the entry for issue of debentures. Now we have seen that they are issued at par as well as redeemable at par. So redeemable at par will have no effect. Entry of issue at par will remain as it is, which will be bank account debit to 12% debentures account. Now debentures throughout the chapter we record with face value. So 5000 into 100, 5 lakhs. And same would be the amount for bank also. So bank account also we will debit with 5 lakhs. Now at the end of the year, 1st April 2014 will end on 31.350. Now we'll start with, start with the steps of redemption. First step of redemption we had studied, we have to keep aside the profits. To keep aside the profits, the entry is profit and loss account debit to debenture redemption fund account. Now, what amounts we have to keep aside as we discussed 107750 in the workings. So that amount will be kept aside from the profits every year. So 107750. Okay, we are not writing the narrations. Same date the money will be invested. Now, uh, let us do the posting also simultaneously. First entry bank account debit to 12% debentures account. Means in debentures account on credit side it will come. Two debentures, so in debentures it will come on credit side. 1414 by bank account. 5 lakhs. Then profit and loss account debit to debenture redemption fund. To debenture redemption fund means in debenture redemption fund account it will come on credit side 31,315 by bank sorry by profit and loss account with the amount of 107,750. Okay so posting is also to be done simultaneously in all the accounts. So 31,315 by profit and loss account 107,750. Now, what is the second step in the first year? We have to invest the money. For investing the money, the entry is debenture, redemption, fund, investment account. Okay, debenture, redemption, fund, investment account to bank account. Now, what amount are we going to invest? Whatever we have kept aside same amount we are going to invest that is 107750 whatever amount we have kept aside that is what we are going to invest 107750 now debenture redemption fund investment account debit means in debenture redemption fund investment account we will write on debit side 
31315. Okay, debenture redemption for investment account will write on debit side 31315. Two bank account 10775 G. Okay, two bank account 10775 G. So first year all the entries are done. First entry of issue and two entries of steps of redemption are done. Since one year gets over, you'll do the balance. So if you do the balancing, the benchers account, the credit side total is 5 lakhs. Same amount we will write on both the sides. And then no amount on debit side means balance will also become 5 lakhs minus 0, 5 lakhs. So at the end of the year 31, 315, we will write two balance carried down. Okay, at the end of the year 31, 315, two balance carried down. And then opposite side in the beginning of next year 1415, we will write by balance brought down 5 lakhs. Debenture holders has no entry so far. Debenture redemption fund account 107750 credit side total. Same total on both the sides 107750 and balance also same 107750. 31315 2 balance carried down and same amount on the opposite side in the beginning of next year 1415 by balance brought down 107750 investment account debit side total 107750 both the sides and balance also 107750 31315 by balance carried down and opposite side after the totals 1415 to balance brought down 107750. So first year all the entries as well as balancing is done. Now we proceed with second year's entries. That is 31316. Okay, after 31315, next year will end on 31316. Okay, these are all first year's entries. Now we start with second year. Up till here, first year entries. Now in second and subsequent years, four entries are to be passed every year. First, we receive the interest. So bank account debit to interest on debenture redemption fund investment account. Okay, very lengthy name, but this is what we have to write. Bank account debit to debenture redemption fund investment account. Now, how will you count the interest? Keep it in mind. You'll always count the interest on opening balance of investments i repeat you'll always count interest on opening balance of investments what is that 107750 we are going to earn 10 percent interest as per the first paragraph so 107750 into 10 percent what interest are we going to earn 10775 okay 10775 so keep this in mind interest will always be calculated on the opening balance of investment every year now two interest on debenture redemption fund investment account so in interest on debenture redemption fund investment account on credit side 31316 okay interest on debenture redemption fund investment account on credit side 31316 opposite account by bank account 10775 now, after receiving the interest, what is the second step in the next year we had discussed? Even this interest we will reinvest. Even this interest we are going to reinvest means this interest will also be transferred to the fund. So, to close that interest, interest on debenture redemption fund investment account we will debit with same amount 10775. Okay, we'll close and debit that account. And after that, we'll transfer it to which account? To debenture redemption fund account. So that that amount also can be reinvested in this year. 
Now interest on debenture redemption fund investment account debit. So in interest on debenture redemption fund investment account will show on debit side. Opposite entry that is to debenture redemption fund account. Okay, opposite entry that is to debenture redemption fund account 10775. And to debenture redemption fund account means in debenture redemption fund account will show on credit side. Okay, to debenture redemption fund account means in debenture redemption fund account will show on credit side 31316 opposite account by interest on debenture redemption fund investment account 10775 okay now two entries are done then in the second and subsequent years we discussed that we have to repeat these two entries we have to repeat these two entries again every year because again we'll keep aside the profits and again we'll invest the money so again to keep aside the profits profit and loss account debit what amount we have to keep aside 107750 to debenture redemption fund account 107750 now again to debenture redemption fund account means in debenture redemption fund account on credit side 31316 by Profit and loss account 107750. Now, again, we will invest the money, but we had discussed an important point that second and subsequent years, when we invest the money, we will invest the amount kept aside plus the amount of interest. Okay, so debenture redemption fund investment account debit to bank account but what they will be investing is the total of these two interest will also get reinvested amount kept aside will also be reinvested so the total of these two amounts is what we are going to invest means what we are going to invest 10775 of interest will get reinvested plus 107750 of profit kept aside will get reinvested so do it everyone 107750 plus 10775 so what is the total amount you all are going to invest 118525 okay 118525 will get invested now the venture redemption fund investment account debit so an investment account will show it on debit side 31316 to bank account as we calculated the total amount 118525 so second year's four entries are also done means now again we will do the balancing okay second year's four entries are also done so again we will do the balancing so what balancing will be done debentures 5 lakhs no entries there in debentures so amount remains same here also again 5 lakhs and balance also 5 lakhs Thirty-one, three, sixteen. Two balance carried down. And opposite side one four sixteen by balance brought down five lakhs. Debenture orders. There is no entry so far. No debenture redemption fund. Do it, everyone. The total one zero seven seven five zero plus one zero seven seven five plus one zero seven seven five zero. So now we have total fund of 226275. Okay. 226275. Same amount will be written on both the sides. 226275. And balance will also be 226275. 31315. Sorry, 16. Two balance carried down. And opposite side after the totals. 1416. By balance brought down two two six two seven five. Now investment account, all of you do it one zero seven seven five zero plus one one eight five two five 
so that also comes to 226 275 but not every time necessary it will come to same amount okay not every time necessary it will come to same amount so you must be doing it 226 275 and balance also 226 275 31 3 16 by balance carried down and opposite side after the totals 1 4 16 2 balance brought down 2 2 6 2 7 5 now Second year's entries are done now. Same entries we will repeat in the third year also. So 31, 3, 17, same entries we will repeat. Okay, 31, 3, 17, we will repeat the same entries again. First, we'll earn interest. So bank account debit to interest on debenture redemption fund investment account. Now, as I discussed with you, how will you count this interest every year? You'll count it on the opening balance of investments. Okay. So, all of you see what is the opening balance of investment in this year now. Okay. We forgot to do the balancing of interest on debenture redemption fund account. Uh, interest account is a squared up account. It gets closed. So, 10775 simply the total on both the sides. 10775. Now, see this opening balance of investments is 226275. On that, we will earn 10% interest. Okay. On which amount? Opening balance of investments 226275 into 10% interest. So that comes to 226275 means 628. We'll round it off to 22628 because it is given in the question that you round off the interest to the nearest rupee. So 226275, we will 226275, we will round it off to 22628. Now two interest means in interest account we will write on credit side. Okay, in interest account we'll write it on credit side. 31317 by bank account 22628. Then next entry after interest received, again we will transfer the interest to sinking fund. So interest account, debit interest on debenture, redemption, fund, investment account, debit. You will close it with 22628. Okay, this account will get closed and you will transfer it to debenture redemption fund account 22628 now interest account debit so in interest account we will show on debit side 31317 to debenture redemption fund account we will transfer this 22628 and to debenture redemption fund account means in debenture redemption fund account we will write it on credit side 31317 by interest on debenture redemption fund investment account that is 22628 okay we will transfer it to debenture redemption fund investment account then after this, we will repeat again the two entries of investing and keeping aside the funds, rather keeping aside the funds and investing. So profit and loss account debit. Again, we'll keep aside 107750 to bank, sorry, to debenture redemption fund account. 107750. Okay. To debenture redemption fund account. So debenture redemption fund account on credit side. 31317 by profit and loss account 107750 and again we'll make the investments so 31318 
debenture redemption fund investment account debit now two bank accounts now what we are going to invest as we discussed will invest interest plus the amount kept aside means now what we are going to invest is 22628 plus 107750 do it everyone 22628 plus 107750 means we are going to invest 130 okay 130378 now our investments will go to 130378 and interest will also get reinvested so investment account on debit side debenture redemption fund investment account on debit side 31317 to bank account as we discussed 130378 so this four entries of second year are also done okay four entries of second year are also done okay one correction here all these entries will be on 31370 not 31318 31370 okay all four entries of third year are also done. So after third year again we will do the balancing. After third year again we will be doing the balancing. So this is the end of third year. Let us do the balancing again. Debentures will have same balance of 5 lakhs. Okay, debentures will have same balance of 5 lakhs. 31,317. 2 balance carried down. And opposite side 1,417. By balance brought down 5 lakhs. Then debenture holders account still there is no amount. Then debenture redemption fund account all of you do it. 226275 plus 226268 plus 107750. So now the balance is 356653. 356653. Same total on both the sides. 31,318, 2 balance carried down, opposite side 1,418, beginning of the next year, by balance brought down, 356,653. Three. Now investment account again all of you do the totals, 226,275 two, plus 130,378. Again, it comes same 356653, but it can be different in other questions also. We'll see that in further questions. 356653. That itself will be the balance. 356653. 31317. By balance carried down. And opposite side. 1417. 2 balance brought down. 356653. Okay, this also balance 31317, not 18, and 14178, and not 18. Okay, yeah. Make the correction in sinking fund 31317 and 14178. Now, after this last year, so fourth, fourth year, three years are done. This is the first year, this is the second year, this is the third year. Now, fourth year. Now, fourth year we have to pass some 7 8 entries. Okay, the entries, first three entries remain same. So, 31318. Again, we will receive the interest. Bank account debit. Two, interest on debenture redemption fund investment account. Now, as we discuss, how will we count the interest every year on the opening balance of investments? Now, the opening balance of investment is 356653. 
So 356653 into 10%. What interest we are going to receive is 356653 into 10%. Now that comes to 35565.3. So you round it up to 35665. 35665.3 means nearest rupee. So you have rounded off to nearest rupee, so 35665. Okay, if you do 10%, you'll get 35665.3, so you round it off to 35665. Two interest means in interest account, we will write on credit side. Okay, interest accounts balancing, we forgot. It will be 22628, same total on both the sides, it's a squared up account. Now interest account on credit side 31380 by bank account as we discussed 35665 is the interest. Then after receiving the interest again we will transfer it to the fund. So 31380 interest on debenture redemption fund investment account debit. Same amount 35665. Okay. We'll transfer it to the fund. So to debenture redemption fund account 35665. Now interest account debit. So in interest account we will write on debit side 31318 to Debenture Redemption Fund Account 35665 and two debenture redemption fund means in debenture redemption fund account we will write on credit side 31318 by interest on debenture redemption fund investment account 3566. Then after transferring the interest, again we will keep aside the profit. So 31318 profit and loss account debit to debenture redemption fund account. And what amount we are go going to keep aside every year? 107750. 107750. So again, in two debenture redemption fund means in debenture redemption fund on credit side 31380 by profit and loss account 107750. Now, being the last year we discussed earlier that now we will not make the investments. What are we supposed to do? Now we don't have to make the investments, we have to sell the investments. Okay, so now we have to sell the investments. Now what information is given in the question about selling the investments? That we have sold it at a loss of 2%. So first of all, let us find out what are the total investments by now. In the investments, you all can see you have investments of 356653. If you have sold at a loss of 2%, what would be the selling price? 356653 minus 2% loss. So now we are selling the investment means bank is the receiver, debit the receiver, bank account debit and investments goes out, credit what goes out. So to debenture redemption fund investment account. And what amount? We have investments balance of 356653. They are sold at 2% loss. So minus 2%. Okay, 356653 minus they are sold at a loss of 2%. So minus 2% loss, that is 356652, do it in calculator, 356653 minus 2% loss. So that comes to 349519.94 means 349. 520. Okay, what is the selling price? 349520. I repeat, how do you get this? 356653 three, directly in calculator to minus 2%. 
Okay, directly in calculator do minus 2 percent, you get 349, 519.94 means 520. Or alternatively, 356.653 into 2 percent loss is 7133.06. So if you subtract 7133 from 356.653, what will you get? 349.520. Now, to debenture redemption fund investment means in debenture redemption fund investment, we'll write on credit side. 31,318 by bank account, they are sold for, what amount did we get? 349,520. So they are sold for 349,520. Now then I discuss with you after you sell the investments, whatever balancing figure remains will be transferred to debenture redemption fund account profit or loss. Here they are sold at loss. So 356,653, all of you write on both the sides. Okay, 3, 5, 6, 6, 5, we all write on both the sides. Now, what is the balancing figure? 3, 5, 6, 6, 5, 3 minus 3, 4, 9, 5, 2, 0. What is the balancing figure? 7, 1, 3, 3, which is our loss, 2% loss. That we will transfer to debenture redemption fund account in bracket. It is the balancing figure as well as it is our loss so that loss is transferred to debenture redemption fund account means in debenture redemption fund it will come on opposite side debit debit side debenture redemption fund account it will come on opposite side debit side to debenture redemption fund investment account in bracket loss of 7133 okay it will come on opposite side in debenture redemption fund account now journal entry for this since in debenture redemption fund account it is on debit side, they will pass debenture redemption fund account debit. And in investment account it's on credit side, so to debenture redemption fund investment account. Since in debenture redemption fund account it is on debit side, so debenture redemption fund account debit with 7133 of loss to debenture redemption fund investment account in investment account it's on credit side so investment account will credit with 7133 okay now after selling the investments what was the next step now we will redeem the debentures now we will redeem the debentures so which debentures are these is it given in the question 12 percent so 12 percent debentures here also when you make the account 12 percent debentures account okay So 12% debentures account debit with 5 lakh, 5 lakh of debentures are to be redeemed to debenture holders account 5 lakhs. Two entries will come for redemption for the payment debenture holders account debit. They are to be redeemed at par here. Okay. We we'll make the payment of 5 lakhs. To bank account finance. So, what will be the posting for these two entries? First, debentures account debit to debenture holders. So, debentures account debit side 31318 to debenture holders account 5 lakhs and debenture holders account on credit side 31318 by 12% debentures account 5 lakhs. Then second entry debenture holders to bank. So debenture holders account debit means in debenture holders account on debit side 31318 to bank account 5 lakhs. So redemption is also done. Then lastly, what did I tell you? After you redeem the debentures, then debenture redemption fund will be transferred to general reserve equal to the nominal value. So debenture redemption fund account debit 5 lakhs what we have redeemed will be transferred to general reserve to general reserve account 5 lakhs. Okay 5 lakhs of debentures what are redeemed will be transferred to general reserve. So in debenture redemption fund account also will write on debit side. Two thirty one three eighteen two general 
reserve account 5 lakhs then after debenture redemption funds transfer to general reserve i have told you that if in the debenture redemption fund account balance remains on debit side means it's a credit balance profit then you transfer to capital reserve if it remains on credit side means there is a deficit then you transfer to pnl account so let us see which side total of debenture redemption fund is higher credit side 356653 plus 35665 plus 107750 that comes to 5000068 and whereas debit side is higher 5077133 so debit side total or if we do it first 507133 write it on both the sides 507133 minus you subtract all the amounts 356 Six five three minus three five six six five minus one zero seven seven five zero. What you get is seven zero six five. So this seven zero six five rupees, which is remaining on credit side, that we will transfer to profit and loss account. Okay, balancing figure means for this what general entry will come since it is fund account on credit side. debenture redemption fund account we will credit and what we will debit is profit and loss account so profit and loss account debit with 7065 to debenture redemption fund account 7065 this is the deficit okay because less fund was created so that extra fund now what we have Paid to debenture holders, we have to create in that year from PNL account. So same balance if it remains on debit side, you transfer to capital reserve. If it remains on credit side, you transfer to PNL account. Now all the entries are done. So finally, we will do the totals. This is a squared up account. All accounts should get closed. Okay, so five lakhs total on both the sides. Debenture holders also five lakh total on both the sides. debenture redemption fund account already got closed means we closed and transferred to pnl account investment account already closed and interest account both the sides total 35665 so all the okay all the accounts get closed over here i hope everyone is clear with this all the accounts get closed over here 